Do try to come back when you're famous. I always want the truth, but it's dead. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back into Kicking It with Fitz here on the channel. Make sure you guys hit that bell below and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate each and every one of y'all that have subscribed already. Much love to y'all. Um, I guess I started this channel and I didn't really properly introduce myself, what I am, what I do. I mentioned it a little bit in my first vlog that I did. I am 26 years old um, and I am a sports reporter here in Lafayette, Louisiana at KTC TV, which is an ABC affiliate. For me, I have been a part of sports almost my entire life. I started playing football in the seventh grade at Cattle Middle Magnet. And then once I left from uh, Middle Magnet, I went to Bird High School, CE Bird High School, the best school in the city of Shreveport, Louisiana. No doubt about it. I went there, uh, played for the legendary head coach, Mike Suggs, for four years. Uh, I was a starter for three years. The only uh, offer that I had to potentially play was at East Texas Baptist University, ETBU, which is in Marshall, Texas. Um, and in proximity of Shreveport, it was extremely close. Um, and then also uh, Louisiana College, which is the shirt that I'm repping right now. Uh, they're Louisiana Christian University. Now they had a name change, but yeah. Um, so I chose, initially I had committed to ETBU or I was going to commit to ETBU. Um, but then I went on my uh, visit to LC and I also played for a legendary coach there and Dennis Dunn. He's, you know, one of the greats when it comes to Shreveport and shoot all the high school football. Coach Evangel back in the 90s and early 2000s won Buku State Championships, National Championships and all of those things. Um, and just sitting down with him, you know, I realized that I was supposed to be there. So I committed there, played there for four years, was a starter for three years. But ultimately what I decided was that I had always, you know, told stories growing up. You know, I used to write plays and stories when I was in church and people would act them out, you know, during services, during Easter and all those things like that. I was, you know, really big on telling stories and I wanted to, you know, have some kind of way that I stayed connected to the sports world. And so I realized that it was a profession where you could do that. I think my sophomore year, I, you know, decided on my major of Convergence Media, which is basically saying like you do a little bit of everything. So I got a chance to be in front of the camera, behind the camera, you know, all of those things like that, learn the ins and outs of the business itself. Um, and I just, I just grew a passion and, you know, it allowed me to be competitive and, you know, interact and meet so many people along the way. So eventually once I got to my junior year, I had an internship uh, at KLB in Alexandria, which is where my first job would be. And the reason I got that job is because my advisor, Al Quartermont, shout outs to him. Uh, he, you know, was advising me in college, but he was also the news director at KLB. So it was like I was getting an interview while being in school. So um, he advised me, he gave me the internship. Um, you know, I used the opportunities that I could to learn what I could while being there. And then going into the summer of my, leading up to my senior year, I just said that, I, you know, I felt like I needed more. So um, when I was back home in Shreveport, I took up an internship at KSLA, uh, one of the stations that I grew up watching. And I got to work with people that I grew up watching. Rashad Johnson, you know, Dominique Ben, uh, I think Adrian Goins was still there, Shane Wright, so many people that I grew up watching and I was able to interact with them and learn from them, glean from them and, you know, soak up knowledge while I was there. And after that summer was over, you know, uh, I had done so many different things. I had interviewed the likes of Tredavious White and Morris Claiborne and done packages and did stand-ups and did, you know, uh, run-throughs on the anchor desk uh, to be able to put together a mini reel and I put that together for the summer and I came back and at the same time that I was doing that, I was also creating a brand for uh, our sports department at LC. And I called it the Dead 
TV. So, um, got back to school, won a couple of awards, uh, entering contests while I was in college, um, and used the Den TV as a springboard. I eventually, you know, was doing reports in our weekly chapels. And it was just great, man. It really was, you know, I enjoyed doing that. Um, I've always been big on curating things, creating things, starting things up. And so uh, that was something I was extremely proud of. From there, like I said, you know, Al was my advisor. And so he eventually gave me the opportunity to be a news producer. That was my first job that I had. I was a weekend producer. I turned stories here and there as an MMJ, but my primary role was as a producer. And I worked there as a producer for I think like six months. And then I eventually slid over into the role of sports director, ran the department. Again, I love creating things. And so I started um, a 30 minute sports talk show that we had on Sunday nights known as Sports Night. It's something that had never been done before, especially not in that market because Alexandria is a really, really small market. I think like 183 or something like that. Um, myself, uh, my former co-workers, Nicole Hutchinson and Corey Howard, uh, you know, we, we created something, helped to create something extremely special and left it there, left it better than we found it once we, you know, pursued other things in our careers. But after two years of being in Alexandria, I decided that, you know, it was time for me to, you know, spread my wings and fly away. I had been in that area, in that market, four years for college, two years in my professional life. So I had been there for six years. And I felt like it was time for me to just branch out. And from there is how I landed in Lafayette. Trying to find a sports job in the sports world is tough because everybody wants to do sports. So it might be 20 sports jobs out there I like talk about, bro. Um, but it felt right uh, to go there. It was still close to home. And at the time, uh, my dad was going through a major sickness that he would eventually succumb to. Um, he passed away July 19th, 2021. Uh, one of the roughest days of my life. I, you know, I'll never forget that. Um, but he raised me, you know, to be, you know, the best man that I could be. Um, and I'm working extremely hard to make him proud as he looks down on me uh, today. So um, I, I wanted to have an opportunity to still stay close to home um, in case anything ever happened to him. Um, and I, you know, I was able to do that. Um, coming here to Lafayette has been great. I've had so many opportunities to do uh, so many things, cover conference championships, the NCAA tournament, the final four. And if you follow me on my social media platforms and you know, like I'm always somewhere, LSU, UL, you know, the New Orleans Saints, uh, I'm always doing something. And that's what I love about being in the sports world is that no, no day is the same. It's always something different. And so that's what I really enjoy about it, man. So, um, Outside of this, on this channel, you're gonna see so many other things. Being a sports reporter, talking about sports is just one facet of my life. Um, but I wanted to, you know, let y'all in on how the journey started, how I got into what I was doing. So as a result of that, I hope that you will continue to subscribe to this channel, continuing to stay tuned to the day in the lives, the vlogs, the content that I will be producing to this channel. Uh, I got so much ahead, you know, in my career. So I'm going to take y'all along for it, man. We got so much that we're going to end up doing and we'll see where God puts us. Like I said, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate y'all for watching this video. We'll see y'all next time. Something real, not bad.